Hello and welcome back to another episode of Math with Sohn. Today we're going to be doing a problem like this, which is when you have a problem and they have this K or A or some other letter here and they want you to divide, but they tell you the remainder is 5 and you're like, what the heck is K going to be if we want the remainder to be 5? And this is an issue for a lot of students, but it's not that hard. You would still conduct synthetic division. And you make sure if you're dividing that you change the sign from the three, the negative three to positive three. So we're dividing by x minus three. We change it to positive three. These numbers, the two, the negative four, and I guess k go right here. And you, you just keep going like normal. You bring down your two, you multiply, we're going to get six. We add straight down, we get two again because negative four plus six makes two. Three times two is six. And then here's where we end up with the dilemma, because we can't really add k and 6, but we do know that apparently the remainder has to be 5. And if the remainder is 5, then we just have to ask ourselves, k plus 6, if that equals 5, you could set up an equation, because k and 6 have to add, they would have to add together to equal 5. And if you subtract 6, you would get k is equal to negative 1, which makes sense because negative 1 plus 6 does, in fact, equal 5, okay? So this is one where a lot of students end up struggling with, but it's not that hard. The next one I do, there's, there's a reason for it to be harder because you couldn't have just thought of the number. Here you could think negative 1 plus 6 equals 5 without setting up an equation. Next one, no equation. We got we, You got to use the equation. That's the only way to really get it. So here we're dividing, and I'm saying, what is the value of k if the remainder is equal to 7? And the k is in the middle. So it's going to be set up the same way, but now it's going to just be a little more difficult. 2 changed to negative 2. We got a 3. We got a k, and then we got a 5. Bring down the 3. Multiply, we get negative 6. Now, if we add straight down here, that we can't really add. It's not going to make 6k or negative 6k. It's actually going to make k minus 6, because if you add straight down, that's what we end up getting. Here, we would have to do negative 2 times both of these things. So if we distribute it, we get negative 2k and then positive 12. All right? And if we add straight down here, we'd get negative 2k plus 17, because 5 and 12 are like terms, but negative 2k did not have any like terms. So we got negative 2k plus 17, and we're told that the remainder is required to equal 7. So if this is equal to 7, now we have an equation that we can solve. Because this is what the remainder is, we can set it equal to the 7, and we can solve this equation. We could subtract 17. Oof, that's a bad looking 17. Uh, negative 2k would equal negative 10. And then when we divide, k would equal 5 because negative 10 divided by negative 2 is 5. And then we get k, and we're happy, and we're done. All right, so I'll see you all on the next one. If you have any questions, be sure to leave it in the comment section. I will see you all later. Bye.